Hey guys, this is Jared and welcome to uh, How To Real Estate, um, a channel that helps you start, elevate, and catapult your real estate investing careers with uh, motivation and how-to tips and tricks of the trade, how to invest in real estate, finding deals, leads, all that fun stuff. So like and subscribe, really appreciate it. So guys, I wanted to have a quick discussion tonight and 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 in the message boards, if you guys can tell me your opinions, because I really want to feel how how this community feels about this one subject so get ready to, to make a comment in the comments right now and i wanted to ask you should we care as a flipper should we care how much a wholesaler makes whether that's whether that's a hundred thousand to dollar ten thousand whatever the amount is should we care okay so please put in the comments right now uh should we care right Yes, no, and why, right? Let's have a discussion. I love that type of stuff, right? Let's make this a community. So uh, I had a lot of people ask that question uh, as of late, uh, quite a few people. I mean, some online, some in person, they're complaining about, oh, the wholesaler's taking $30,000. I wanted to express my opinion. I've been on both sides of, the, of the, this whole thing. I've been on, on the wholesaling side and also the flipping side. And I wanted to, ex to explain my, my thoughts and opinion on this. And, and hopefully you guys can, can share yours as well. So I want you to understand the overhead that a wholesaler, a typical wholesaler goes through. Um, now there's lots of ways where you can do wholesaling without spending any money. But if you're, if you're really in there, if you're not spending a lot of money, you're putting a lot of time anyway. So you're giving a lot of resources, whether that's time or money to find that deal. I know wholesalers that will spend 10,000 to $40,000 a month just to find that those, those few deals. Um, and so they, they put a lot of time and effort into it. Me personally, I spend several thousands of dollars a month, a month, uh, seven, several thousands of dollars a month, uh, just find the deals that I'm finding. You know, I'm finding quite a few a month, but you know, it, it does, there's an overhead. I have, I have a, a small staff, uh, one assistant, you know, one person, but still, uh, it, there's, there's cost to do what I do. So and, and a lot of uh, wholesalers have very similar things or they're putting a lot of their time in as well. And I do both. Um, and consider how many people told them no, what they had to do to get that one deal. Uh, a lot of them, I mean, me and my, my staff, we call 600 people a day, you know, so we're hearing 599 no's or, or no messages or whatever, you know, we're, we're getting rejected constantly. And it's a grind. Wholesaling is, is anything is everything but a grind. You know, it's definitely a grind. Um, and the time and energy it takes and the problem fixing, you know, I mean, when you get a, when you get a probate deal and you're negotiating with five different heirs on, on trying to convince them that to, to sell this property to you at a discounted rate that makes sense for everybody. I mean, it, it gets pretty complicated. I mean, when I'm, when I'm negotiating seller financing deals that are leaving deferred payments, you know, good interest rate, you know, if I'm doing all these things, um, I, I better be compensated quite handsomely for, for my efforts and only, and only fair. Uh, you know, so in, in all reality, should we care to put it short, it, how much a wholesaler makes? No, we should never care because if the deal that was presented to you by a wholesaler makes sense and it, it fits your profit margins, then it doesn't matter if that wholesaler makes $1 or a million dollars. It doesn't matter because it fits your profit margins. If it doesn't, here's what you do. You walk away. That's it. You just say no to the deal. Go on to the next. If you're worried that this guy's taking thirty thousand dollars and the profit for you is only thirty thousand dollars and you wanted forty, okay. Guess what? You just say my favorite word in real estate. Next, next. That's my favorite word in real estate, baby. You know, it's really important to to not get bogged down in one deal. If it doesn't work, just move on next. You know, don't waste the wholesaler's time. Don't waste your time. Just move on to the next. Let him share his deal with someone else that might have better, that might be okay with only making that amount or whatever it may be, right? We don't waste each other's time. So yeah, don't, I, you should never care what a wholesaler makes. You know, people ask me, do I, do I double close? So, uh, so people don't see how much I'm making on a wholesale. Never. I never have wholesale. I never I double. I've never double closed. Not saying I will, uh, or won't. I mean, but it, it, the, I, I'm upfront by how much I make from the get go. And, um, if someone has a problem with that, then that's, I don't need them. You know, I can, I have plenty of other buyers, so I'm not worried about it, you know? Um, so, uh, th that is, uh, that's my opinion on this, on the whole thing. Um, and, and just to make sure, 
and, and that also kind of brings me to the next subject as far as like why why does wholesalers ask for non-refundables? Those who don't know, a lot of wholesalers, uh, when they get a deal, if you want the deal, you have to give them a non-refundable, which is a portion of the, which is usually typically around $5,000, sometimes two, but usually around $5,000. And they want that money within 12 hours. Why would a wholesaler need $5,000 non-refundable? Like that seems kind of mm, iffy. But when you think about it, that non-refundable is to guarantee them. So when you get, when, when we find something and get it some get a property under contract, we only have those two weeks or whatever time frame that they have to find a buyer and and sell off the property or sell off the rights to your contract, right? So if you just waste their time, because sometimes because we, we already put in the overhead like I discussed before, the mailers and the time and the calls, um, and also the earnest money. So if we put in all that all that effort and time. And then you say you want the deal, and then a day before it closes, you just back out. Then the wholesaler gets screwed, the buyer gets screwed, right? It's just a lose lose scenario, and it's happened before. You know, I've gotten screwed by people. They they say they want the deal, then they don't want the deal, and they backed out at the last minute. It's happened to me because I didn't ask for that non refundable. So when wholesalers ask for that non refundable, it, it gets you committed. Like make sure do your diligence do do your due diligence first. Make sure you really want the deal. Don't trust the wholesaler's numbers ever. Even if you get a wholesale from me, don't trust my numbers. Don't trust my numbers. Do your own numbers. Do your own math. Make sure it makes sense for you and your situation. Do never, 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 never trust a wholesaler's numbers. Don't never trust the wholesaler's numbers. Are you, is that clear? Right? Even if they're not mine. I repeat it like five times, but it's so important. That's how you lose money. You know, you got to run your own numbers. Now, not I'm not saying every wholesaler is intentionally misleading, but I'm just saying you you know what you just, just run your own numbers, okay? Anyways, so that non-refundable back to back to what I was trying to say before, um, it, it guarantees at least that that they can recuperate some of their costs that they're going to lose no matter what. If if you back out of the deal, for one, if you put in five thousand dollars, you're pretty confident you're going to close, right? Um, Otherwise, you're just going to lose five thousand. That'd be insane. And, and if and if you do have to back out, sometimes if you find out the deal is actually worse than you really originally anticipated, it might be better to back out. Honestly, um, it, it might because I'd rather lose five thousand than losing twenty. You know, so kind of take that into consideration. But that's 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 a big reason why wholesalers ask for non-refundables. It, because it, it guarantees them that they're going to get the money back that they have already spent in time. Um, and, and if you back out, you know, at least they have that money, hopefully they can maybe get an extension and find another buyer. And so it still creates that win-win scenario, but because of your stupidity of just giving non-refundable and not actually doing your due diligence beforehand. And that's what it is. Stupidity. It's, it's, it's not the wholesaler's fault. It's, it's your fault by putting down this money and not really knowing if it's a deal or not. So it's hundred percent on that, on the person. Uh, I, I fortunately have been, been blessed with having a buyer's list that, that are, that have been experienced and they know if, if it's a deal or not, you know, they don't need a, they do the due diligence before they give me non-refundable, right? I never had someone back up of a non-refundable. Um, yeah, that's my opinions guys. I appreciate it. Uh, like, and subscribe. I got plenty of other videos, uh, of tutorials, how to find leads, how to, how to, you know, I mean, let me know what you want to see next. Let me know, put in the comments if you want me to uh, actually have phone call, uh, record some phone calls of, of me talking to sellers. Um, you know, I mean, I, I have the equipment, I can do all that stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see and hear. And, uh, we got a podcast coming up. Uh, we're really excited about that. So stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. We should have our first episode. We want to get six or seven in the can before we actually start uploading this stuff and, uh, getting out in the world. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited. So I love you guys clicking all the videos that's floating around. If you want to see some how to's and some more stuff about some, uh, wholesaling. Just click on here. All right. Peace out. Love you guys.